How we doing today, YouTube? DSK from DSK Grills back with another cooking video, and today we are making awesome party wings on the Weber Ranch kettle. Can't wait to show you this cool recipe, folks. We're gonna get a chance to put that capacity of the Weber Ranch kettle to the test. So here's what we're doing today, folks. We're making three different kinds of smoked wings. We're gonna start off with first barbecue. We are going to make also lemon pepper, and we are gonna make buffalo. Now, the seasoning we're gonna be using today is the It's Incredible. That will be the base for all of these wings. I have about 150 awesome party wings, so let me show those to you as well real quick. Starting from the back, folks, we have a tray here that I've had in the refrigerator for two hours, drying out, trying to get that skin as dry as possible so we can make a nice crispy wing. Two more trays here, and this is it, folks. So it is party wing time today at DC Grills. You know what we'll do. I'll take you step by step, show you how we're gonna make these awesome wings. We'll head out to the grill, and then you know what we'll do, folks. We'll come to the cutting board and show you the final product of this awesome party wing cook. I wanna thank you as always for joining me, and let's get cooking. All right, folks, we're back. We have a rainy day happening today. Uh, what I wanna do is show you the grill setup. I started one chimney full of uh, lump charcoal, and what we're gonna do, folks, we have two slow and sears working today. So let me show you that. We have this slow and sear on the right side, and we have another one on the left side. So the plan is gonna be to go ahead and get this uh, lit coals poured on half and half on each side, get this grill shut down, and let this baby get up to temperature. We're shooting for about 350 degrees, and then we will put our wings dead in the middle where you see the open space. So just wanted to show you that grill setup. Let's go back inside and start seasoning up these wings. Okay, folks, we are back at the cutting board. We are going simple on our seasonings. I brought the receiver in for the Maverick XR50. As you can see, we're at 284 degrees and steady climbing. We'll let this baby get up to about 325 to 350 before we even put these wings on. That gives us a time to do a nice coat of seasoning of the It's Incredible and give it a chance to settle in for a little bit. Now, one of my subscribers even talked about this method here. So, shouts out to you. Uh, he even talked about uh, getting those wings, getting them in the refrigerator, dried out, coming straight with your seasonings, not worrying about olive oil or anything like that, because what you want is to get a crispy wing. So I'm following that method today, and here's what we're doing, folks. We're coming right on with the It's Incredible. We would do that, like I said, on both sides of all of these wings, and just let this baby sit. Our uh, skin got a chance to dry out, so that's an awesome thing, which, again, will help with the crisping process. So this is it, folks. I just want to show you, uh, we'll do one side here, then I'll take it off camera and finish the rest of them. Now, I like to lay my wings out and make sure I get them coated evenly. A lot of people just put them in a bowl and just shake them and move them around. So I think that's to each his own, right? So whichever way you think is best to coat your wings, then you know, by all means, go after it, okay? So that's this side. We're gonna go to the other tray and do the exact same thing. Now, remember, we have three trays of wings. We'll see how many we can get on at one time but it's well over 150 wings. So we may have to do two different batches, but that's all good. Okay, folks, so this is the process. Get a nice coat. And then what we'll do, like I said, we'll get back together when it's time to put these wings on the grill and uh, check out how many we can get on this awesome Weber Ranch kettle. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, it is time to get cooking. As you can see, we have our temperature up to 308 degrees. Perfect time to get these beautiful wings on. So we have them all seasoned up. Let me let you check them out real quick. Look at that, folks. Seasoned to perfection. All right, we have three trays of awesome party wings. So I'll meet you guys outside. We're going to go ahead and get these babies in place and get the grill shut back down. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. We are at 315 degrees on this Weber Ranch kettle. Let me show you that, folks. 315. We're going to go ahead and get these wings on. Now, this is a, another process that will take a little time. Here's our first awesome seasoned tray. Let's get this on here and get them started. We got rooms for room for days for tons of wings here.
Okay, folks, we are back. We are only about 10 minutes in, so I just want to show you what we have going on here. As you can see, we have about 150 wings on the Weber Ranch kettle. What I'm doing is opening up the uh, grill right now. I want air coming in. What I want to do is get both of these slow and sears smoking hot, okay? We have a little bit of uh, apple wood right here, and we're starting to get some heat going, okay? So what I want is this thing piping hot. So when I close the lid, we're truly able to get a crispy wing. Now the way you do that is you do the steps that we did. We started off by drying the wings. We season them without any olive oil, just straight raw seasoning. Next thing is to have a hot grill. So I want this grill around 350 to 400, and I saw that it was kind of hard to get it past 320 degrees. So I decided to open it up, let this baby heat up, and then close it back down to see if we can't maintain those temps. So just wanted to share that with you guys. We'll get back together in about 30 minutes and let you see how these wings are coming along. Awesome party wings on the Weber Ranch Kettle. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, folks, we are back. We are 35 minutes into this cook, and I want to show you guys how these beautiful wings are coming along. So let's check them out together real quick. My Lord, we are browning up nicely, folks. Look at that absolutely amazing these things are cooking up evenly we have at least another 30 35 minutes to go and we'll call these babies done but i just want to show you where we're at so far this cook is coming along well on this beautiful ranch kettle again about 150 awesome seasoned wings now once we get these babies off the grill we'll take them in and we'll toss them in those three different uh sauces so remember we have buffalo barbecue and lemon pepper so i'll show you those steps once we get to the cutting board catch you guys in a bit All right, folks, we are back. I am so excited. We are 25 more minutes in. So about a total cook time right now of about 55 minutes. I plan on letting these wings go for at least another 10 more, but I thought I'd show you this before we go to the cutting board and do the final product, and that will be the saucing of each of the wings. So let's check these out, folks. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Look at that beautiful, beautiful brown color we've achieved. These wings look absolutely phenomenal. They've cooked evenly. The slow and sears on each side do the trick. Now, I have the one on the left that seems to be really, really hot. Uh, with the rain coming in, it's like I could never get this one to be as hot as I would like it to be. But it seems like it worked out just fine. So what I'll do on the next cook, maybe I'll put both slow and sears on the left side. Don't know. But we'll mess around with it. So the cool thing about the Weber uh, Ranch Kettle is I haven't cooked on it anywhere near as much as I want to because it's for larger cooks. So look at this, folks. It looks great. I'm very excited about what's going on here. Now, we have a lot of good heat coming off here. It's just not glowing like you see on that side there. The wings are nice and crispy. We have even uh, an even color all the way through and through. So next step is to go to the cutting board. So I'll see you guys when we get there. We will just sauce and toss. That is the next step for these wings. And then we'll close this video out. I'll meet you guys at the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, we are back. We are done with the smoking portion of these awesome wings made on the Weber Ranch Kettle. I said 150, I went ahead and counted. We got 123 wings on this awesome grill. So 123 wings or 15 pounds of awesome chicken wing flaps. So look at the beautiful brown color we have on these things. Now we're just gonna do the saucing portion. I'm gonna move this to the side. We'll do this together, folks. Here's our mixing bowl. What I wanna do, since we have 123, we'll try to disperse these things evenly. We have the hot wing sauce, that is Sweet Baby Ray's. What I'm gonna do is get a handful of these beautiful wings, drop these babies in, they are nice and crispy. Let's get them in here. Not a whole lot to it now. This is easy stuff now, folks. So I'll get this dropped in. Once I see that I have about 10 left, I'll stop. Okay, we'll start right here. So this is our buffalo portion, whole bottle. No use of wasting time here, let's get it on in here. We are coating wings today. This is what we got going on. All we have to do is move these things around. Look at that. Now I only have one of these bowls. Maybe I need to invest in some more. So in between each one of these, what I'm gonna do is clean it out and add the next one. But what we want is good sauced up wings. See, this is flavor. This is it. This is what it's all about. Look at these things, folks. Absolutely amazing. I need to take a picture of this. Good stuff. So that's wing number one. These are the awesome buffalo. Okay, folks, next up is barbecue. We're gonna go a little bit lighter on the barbecue. Uh, we're gonna spend most of our time with that hot 
and lemon pepper. So what I'll do is add about 25, 30 wings here. This is awesome. So think about it, folks. Straight capacity of the Weber Ranch kettle gives you that opportunity to make up 120 plus wings at one time. Can't beat it. Very excited about this. Okay, so there's our barbecue. We're coming with Sweet Baby Ray's and we're gonna get it poured in. So let's do that now. Nice amount of that. It's the same thing, folks. I mean, this is why you need one of these type of bowls too. Just an easy mixing bowl. You just roll it around. This is all we're doing. We're gonna mix a little bit and now we have beautiful coated barbecue wings. All right? Okay, so next step, we do our lemon pepper and then we'll close this video out. I will show you all three of these babies next to each other. We might put Wingstop out of business. We better watch it here, folks. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. So I thought I'd take the time to show you what we did to make the lemon pepper. Let me move this to the side. Here's our container. All I did was added two sticks of butter and about four tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning. Okay, so this is regular store-bought lemon pepper. I'll grab it real quick and let you see what I'm talking about. Here's our lemon pepper, just regular McCormick's lemon pepper. So I added about four tablespoons of this into two sticks of butter. Then I whisked it real good, so here we go. This is our lemon pepper. Now, just wanna show you that. Now what I'll do now is go ahead and pour this into our mixing bowl again. So let's do that together real quick, folks. It's all about party wings, right? This is what we're doing today. Let's get this added in here. And then we're coming back with about 60 wings, okay? Because the fan favorite is lemon pepper around here. So let's get these babies added in. Awesome, awesome day here on DC Grills. We are enjoying the party wings. Definitely want to show you guys the capacity of the Weber Ranch kettle today. And uh, at the same time, get all this stuff done right in front of you so you can see what you can do with this grill and also whatever grill you have. Now don't forget, this is good for anything that you own. So hey, just check this recipe out. Give it a shot, folks. You guys will enjoy it. And uh, this is the way to go, right? So we're gonna continue mixing these up. That's what we're doing right now. I'll show you this real quick. And then what we'll do, folks, I'll meet you guys back at the cutting board to show you the final product of our awesome party wings made on the Weber Ranch Kettle. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back, YouTube. I am so excited to show you the final product of our awesome party wings made on the Weber Ranch Kettle. As you can see, all we did was smoke these beautiful, beautiful wings on the Weber Ranch Kettle. We got it up to about 325 degrees the entire cook. We have 123 beautiful wing flats that have been prepared here, okay? So what did we do? We smoked these babies for about an hour and a half, folks. Brought them back in. And then we just came in with sauces, okay? We started off with hot, okay? So we had a beautiful hot seasoning. Look at this, just hot sauce. This is buffalo wing sauce. Tossed them in those. Look at these things. They look absolutely amazing. We came back next with the Sweet Baby Rays. We made about 25 to 30 wings from that. Last but not least, we made up our own lemon pepper. Everybody loves lemon pepper. This was two sticks of butter and about four tablespoons of lemon pepper powder. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what D-Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. Try this recipe out for all your big holiday games that are coming up. We got some good college football. We got the NFL. We have all kinds of stuff going on. Party wings at DC Grills. You guys enjoy the rest of the day.